In 1903, when most cars needed cranks, gears and prayers to get moving, the Stanley Model C could launch silently in reverse without even touching a gearbox. And yes, it could hit over 50 miles per hour, 80 kilometers per hour, back when the average horse was still looking smug. Ladies and gentlemen, imagine a car so light it made horse carts look like overbuilt gym bros, and so fast it scared every Sunday hat clean off in a three-mile radius. In 1903, when your options were basically walk, ride a horse, or explode in an experimental contraption, the Stanley Model C rolled in with a hiss of steam and a smirk. And somehow, despite no clutch, no gearbox, and fewer moving parts than Bob's conspiracy blog, it taught America how to hustle. But before we slide into this boiler-powered legend like Timmy into his fourth divorce, big thanks to the sponsors of my channel. You absolute legends who click that join button, you keep the steam up, the wheels turning. Without you, I'd be hauling coal by hand and telling jokes to Bob's cactus collection. With you, we get to ride shotgun through steam-powered insanity, one piston at a time. Now, fire up that burner and buckle your top hat. Here's the full story of the Stanley Model C, the lightweight, tiller-steered speed gremlin that proved steam wasn't just for trains and angry teapots. In the foggy early morning of American motoring around 1903, two twins from Newton, Massachusetts, were quietly setting the roads on fire with vapor. Francis and Freeland Stanley, better known as the Stanley Twins, had already carved out a steamy little empire with their early runabouts and the Model C was their golden child. Produced across 1903 and 1904 by the Stanley Motor Carriage Company, the Model C was the firm's practical answer to middle-class dreams. Total company output in those years? About 850 cars, and the Model C was right at the heart of that humming boiler room. What made the Model C tick was its brilliant simplicity. This wasn't some enormous competition beast, nor was it a delicate salon ornament for monocled aristocrats. No, the Model C was for families who wanted to go places without waking the neighborhood rooster or getting covered in horse residue. It came as either a two-seater or a four-seater runabout, depending on coachwork, and it rested on a tidy 78 inches, 1,181 millimeters, wheelbase. It looked a bit like a carriage that had eaten a science experiment and sounded like someone frying bacon at warp speed. The Stanleys weren't outsourcing brains either, they designed the hardware themselves. Drawing from earlier designs tied to the Mason Regulator Company, their two-cylinder, double-acting steam engine was a masterpiece of directness. No gears, no clutch, just raw torque piped straight to the rear axle. To go backward? You didn't shift. You simply told the engine to run in reverse. And while we don't have exact production numbers for the Model C alone, we do know several have survived. Enthusiasts in the United States and United Kingdom still parade them in London to Brighton events, boiler valves hissing like a cat being offered a salad. So how did it all work? Under the driver's cheek sat a vertical fire tube boiler, 14 inches, 356 millimeters in diameter, and 13 inches, 330 millimeters high, wound like a steampunk corset. It used a kerosene or gasoline vaporizing burner and carried roughly 20 gallons, 76 liters, of water, just enough for Timmy to attempt a steam-powered foot spa, claiming it would open his pores and his mind. He left with neither. Power came from that twin-cylinder engine, with a bore and stroke of about 2.5 to 3.5 inches, 64 times 89 millimeters, producing a modest but P6.5 horsepower by Stanley's own quirky math. The engine drove directly to the rear wheels via a solid gear. No transmission, just elegant brute force. Reverse was handled through the valve gear. Flip a liver and the engine happily ran backward. The body was light, made of wood, often bodied by firms like Courier and Cameron. Suspension? Full elliptic leaf springs, essentially a stack of iron optimism. Brakes? Rear-only mechanical. Just enough to stop if you were brave and not going downhill. Wheels were wrapped in clincher tires, 28, 3 or 30 times 3 inches, depending on spec. 
Weight came in around 700 to 750 pounds, 318 to 340 kilograms. And despite looking like it might fall apart at 30 miles per hour, 48 kilometers per hour, the Model C could hit up to 53 miles per hour, 85 kilometers per hour. It drank water at about one mile per gallon, 0.42 kilometers per liter, and kerosene at 8 to 10 miles per gallon, 3.4 to 4.3 kilometers per liter. That's not bad, especially for 1903 when most folks were still negotiating treaties with their horses. What really made the Model C stand out, though, was its wire wound boiler. Where most people feared steam cars would explode like overcooked sausages, Stanley's solution was elegant and safe. Piano wire reinforcement and pressure valves that vented steam instead of turning you into a charcoal briquette. Now let's talk numbers. And no, not the kind Timmy uses when splitting bar tabs. Back in 1903, a Model C would have cost you between $695 and $725. That's roughly $25,100 to $26,200 in today's money. Basically the cost of a modern compact car with fewer horses and a lot more steam whistles. As for modern collectors, the highest known auction price for a Model C hit $61,093. But most sales hover lower, like a 2017 RM Sotheby's auction where one went for $55,000. The Model C's body style varied. Some came with a spindle back, others a panel seat. And all of them looked like they were built by a furniture maker who'd once seen a race. Reversing didn't involve a transmission. You just flipped the valve gear and steamed backward like a ghost crab. And while the public feared these cars might explode, there's not a single documented Stanley boiler explosion on record. That's more than we can say for Timmy's propane grill, which once launched a bratwurst into orbit. These cars remain eligible for the legendary London to Brighton veteran car run. And thanks to their featherweight construction and reliability, they're still being driven with glee. Some even sport updated safety valves or fresh wire wound boilers built to original specs. Because hey, if you're going to hurl yourself down the road in a 120 year old fire powered carriage, a little peace of mind helps. The Stanley Model C is what happens when two geniuses a vertical boiler and a refusal to accept gears come together in perfect 1903 harmony. It wasn't the fastest, fanciest or cheapest, but it was clever, safe and about as American as a cast iron skillet full of ambition. It proved steam could be civil, that you didn't need a mansion or a chauffeur to enjoy the future. And today it remains one of the most charming drivable relics of the steam era. So here's to the Model C. The steam runabout that taught a century how to hustle, without a gear in sight, and with more character than most politicians at a truth-telling contest. And if you enjoyed that ride through boiling history, tap that like button like it's a pressure valve, subscribe for more mad machines, and remember, next time Bob says he's inventing a safer steam system, hide the matches.